Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Block series. Today, hopefully, we will be getting the Ludicrous Voltage Circuit Assembly Machine and the Precision Laser Engraver, I believe, is needed for the next tier of circuits. Now, in between episodes, I have done quite a bit of work on the base. I've replaced every single one of my LV machines. The like on demand ones, not the uh, the other ones, but all these have been replaced by EV machines and they're all hooked up to the AE system. So I got got another extruder here making bolts, I got a packager to make 10 cables. Uh, this works perfectly, and then I have I moved all my extruders up here because I got another one to make rings. Another fluid solidifier to make these rubber bars that I need for the rings. And then an extractor. So everything's been replaced. So that feels pretty good. I also put storage buses on a couple of these machines. So I have a storage bus on the polyethylene and over here I have it on the epoxy sheets and this one yeah right here so all these can be seen by the AA system and then it'll pull out as needed from these machines so if it needs four it'll pull four out and then the fluid solidifier will make four more now this setup is all completely backlogged and finished so everything's completely full here I added a second one another chemical reactor so this outputs styrene so styrene is going into both this one has the butadine in it and then this one just has oxygen and that gets me polystyrene and I believe there is a quest for that I haven't I never did finish these, so polystyrene, I need to get, I guess I'll get a bucket of it. That finished the quest. And that would have opened up the other quest. So that opened up this one. So, fortunately, this is a lot of Yeah, that, that requires a lot of the, uh, let's we turn that off for now. How can I get this? So polystyrene, eh, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm not going to worry about the quest, but I will finish them. I'll pull out a bucket of this stuff and then put it in over here when I... I need it, but I don't feel like starting up all that uh, thing. Now I also crafted 120 servos, <laughs> so I auto crafted that. It was pretty fun. And uh, if we give this a second here, we'll see how much faster it is. Yeah, so it does like an almost entire. <laughs> I believe these are going slower because. The pipes are full. I have so many barrels. So now I have 120 barrels. Servos in every single one of them. And I'm still losing which water. I have four barrels worth here. And that is slowly going up. I'm thinking maybe if that... I pull a couple of these out and that hits the limits, then I might be able to build up a backlog the witch water. But if this is going full blast with four of these, I don't make enough witch water even with 120 barrels. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, one other thing I did do is I added this storage or interface this is kind of just 
I plopped it down here because it was a room and I had channels. So I put a, an interface here with a storage bus on it, the crafting card, and then I have five stacks of Certus Quartz and four stacks of another Quartz. And what this basically does is tell the A system to keep all this in stock at all times. So when I use it, it'll replace it with new stuff without me having to ask for it. Uh, you need the storage bus on it for that to happen. Um, the, pre the reason is the autoclaves are very slow in producing the Certus Quartz and then other Quartz. And I made a second autoclave. So one is for the Certus and one is for another, just because it's so slow. All right, so let's move on. I'm looking at getting the, like I said, the circuit assembly machine, this one. So I have a couple of things here. And now I was looking at this like, oh, this is fine. I have this, a lot of this automated. Actually, I have all of these automated. Go ahead and I set that up. The other problem, though, before we do that, is if we look at these two recipes, they require nine inputs. And mine only can handle seven. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to expand this. And that's actually pretty easy, because this is all set up to auto craft. So why don't we just kind of start. I'll add two more things on to it. I hope that doesn't... That might cause an issue. I don't know, actually. All right, so two more. I just got to add the exact same things. It's farther down the line. And like I said, most of the stuff's on autocraft. So it's got a so solid steel, solid Steel, solid steel. Two assembler machine casings. Let's see. I have one, so I only need one more. What am I missing? SMD capacitors. Have I not taught you how to make these? I thought I did. Which one is this? Oh, poly. Holy vinyl, do I? Ooh, I do not have any of this. I'm going to have to set this up really quick. Or get silicon rubber foil, which is kind of where I was going next, actually. Hmm. All right, let me get the ingredients for this, and I will be back. All right, I have the materials cooking up in the blast furnace. In between episodes, I'm starting to set up a silicon rover production line. I'm going to do it right here, I believe. Uh, but in the meantime, I ended up actually deciding to create a polyvinyl, polyvinyl chloride sheet production. Um, since it's pretty easy. It's just ethylene and chlorine, which producing ethylene right here. So having that piped in, chlorine was right over here, so I just piped that in. Then the vinyl chloride with the oxygen, oxygen, I have tons of it, so I just piped that over. Probably could have just brought that over, actually. Oh well. And then that's outputting to the chloride sheets. And then I'll probably put a storage bus on this eventually, but not right now. This is not getting enough power, but it's getting enough to complete the task, so I'm just letting it do a thing until it backlogs. Um, yeah, and this thing, since it's auto outputting to the right with the vinyl chloride, you have to right click it with a screwdriver on top. This is tank zero, this is tank one. So you need, I want tank one, which is a hydrochloric acid. There's none in there right now, but it'll make it. So I'll wait for, uh, there we go. If you don't have it set to tank one on top, it won't pull out. 
But anyway, so that is my vinyl chloride sheets. And like I said, I probably will set up a silicon rubber because I do want to end up getting silicon rubber at some point because the assembler recipes use half. It only uses half an ingot to do the wires as opposed to a full ingot. But I'm actually good on rubber for quite a long time. So um, I don't need it right away, but I'll probably set that up. I may do it on uh, while recording or not. I haven't decided yet because I've set those up quite a few times before. All right. So how's this thing doing? All right. We're almost done here with this, I believe. We got one episode, one recipe left. Oh man, my wrench is uh almost done. All right, so that is for the inputs. I really need to <laughs> get a friggin' chest one. There we go. It's funny, I could do some crazy difficult... I could do robots, but I couldn't autograph sticks. So that's always pretty funny. Alright, screwdriver can go back in there. Two tests. And I think it's... is it on top? Oh, I need the machine hulls, don't I? Such a pain. Because I need lead cables. Do I even have lead? Yeah, I don't have any of this set up. Which is a bit of a pain. Uh, wire mill. Is that how you do it? Right, it doesn't use rubber, it uses the, the carpet. Where are we? Over here? There we go. <clears throat> and I sh I don't I don't use these very often, these U ULV things, so I don't know if I'm going to set it up. Maybe, I don't know. Dang it, I just realized I need more. Jumping all over the place here. And back up. I forgot I had two. Grab the wires. Packaging. Back down. The one problem with having multiple levels here. All right, there we go. So those, those. Input buses, sweet. And then the assembly casings, there's those. I think I only need two of those. Alright, so that's the output bus. Let's just remove that. Remove that. <clears throat> and then add these.
there. All right, so these assembler machine casings, the line casings. Ooh, I need the glass. I think it's the L. Do I have? I do have a bunch of that stuff, thankfully. Let's set that up really quick. The hardened glass. What is it? Reinforced glass. This stuff. So three glass and one. Three glass and one alloy. I gotta get that set up as a thing too. All right. Alloy. Is it four? I'm assuming it's three. What do I get out of this? Oh, I do get four out of this. Nice. So I actually need four. Uh, my alloy smelter is running out of patterns. All right. Yeah, there we go. It formed. I saw it. Okay, so that is an expanded... Assembly line. Now the this stuff, styrene rubber that I ended up creating before. I need somewhere to. Which one of these has an import? Who would export? This one, but. Yeah. Do I have any other ones? Yeah, right here. Does this have a import bus? I can't remember. Export. Interface. What about you? Fluid import. I can use that one. Let's take those out. Okay. So that will put the Yep, that styrene stuff into the A system. I'll take this. Oh, there is my quest. And we will auto output it into the thing here now. Those should be full. Okay. I was like, why do I have an import bus on me? I forgot about this. How many kit channels do I have down here? Five? Okay, we're good. Do I have item ducks? Yes, I do. And the input press. It'll be interesting to see what happens when I have try multiple recipes at once in this thing. I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest. All right, assembly line. Ah, assembly line is set up. I got a new hatch to put this styrene uh, rubber in. So the question is, can I, do I have everything to do these conveyor belts? Uh, what are they? Conveyor belt module. Okay, this program circuit. This is, 
I don't know how how this is gonna work. To be honest, if I do two of these, like, how is that a thing? Let's craft a circuit. Well, I need two of these, so let's. Well, I only need. Let's just do one round. Okay, so this. Because how in the world am I supposed to? Like program it. This has a program of one. Like how is that even? A thing anyway so do we have everything we have I have this that I have two of those I have these plates I have these cables okay so let's go ahead and get this set up there's the encoder I need two of those things don't I do I have that on I need to get this auto crafting. Uh, let me get all the materials for this crafting and we'll get this set up. All right, I think I got everything here. So I put the two package recipe holders, or the, yeah, the package recipe holders in there. We've done this before, but uh, 32 of those. Just do this in order. Let's so make sure I get everything. Yeah, the only thing I'm kind of confused about is the... The circuit. I don't know how this is going to work. Is it going to use it up? Or cause if it leaves it in there and... I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to use it. But that is going to be a pain. I, I just don't know how I'm going to do that. So, I don't know. We will see. Alright, so that is that. Oh, I need to put... I already forgot. Do I put the... What it turns into, don't I? Yeah, so let's go... Before I can automate it, I gotta put all this stuff in, I think. So, in theory... Give it enough power, so... In theory, if I put this in... Alright, so that leaves it in there. Okay. So it does not use these circuits. The question is, do... Yeah, so like this is a 2. 1, 2. How about like the later ones, one. Looks like there's only one and two seem to be used. I don't know how to do that. What I should, hmm. I don't know about that. Maybe just leave it in, unless I need a super difficult recipe. I yeah, I don't know about that one. Did it... Conveyor? I didn't even notice. It did pull it out. Okay. So I almost think I should just take this off out of the recipe. That's right, I broke the encoder, that's why the other one is gone. Mm, I just don't know. No, I don't want that in there, because if it's not using it... Yeah, if it's, if it's not using it, then it's just going to get, like, messed up in the, the system. Like, it'll just get... It'll, there'll be nowhere for another a new one to go so maybe if i just kind of leave it leave it in there the question is if i have a one here and a two here hmm 
And this, I don't think, can handle more than one. And this can't handle it. Yeah, that's not going to work. So it looks like per recipe you need an unpackager and a packager, I think. From what I'm gathering. Like that is the only place for that to go, and that's the only place for that to go. So it looks like I'm going to have to get... Yeah, a new one of these and a new packager. The packager doesn't need to be over here. It can be somewhere else, I'm assuming. Because I don't think it like needs to be touching this. <clears throat> so I may put the, all the packagers kind of like in a different spot. So they're not taking up channels over here. Alright, let's just for now we'll take these out and put these in. Just double check that this is working. Because I need two of these anyway. So I have one, right? Ah, right. So it needs the motor recipe. So okay, let me grab two more packagers. I can't remember how difficult these are to make. They're not too difficult. I'll be back in a second. All right. So I got the unpackager set up. And then I just put these two over here for now, just to see if they don't need to be next to the packagers, which I don't think they do. The only problem here is I'm a bit worried about what's going to happen if I have two recipes going on at the same time. So like the conveyor is all fine and dandy, but it needs a motor. So that is going to have to be crafted first. Maybe it'll maybe it'll go first. I don't know. Yttrium dust and uh, I don't remember how to get these. Should set this up though. Yttrium. How do you get this again? All right, yttrium dust is just ingots. Do I have an ingot? No. I'm trying to remember how I even got this in the first place. Yeah, how do I get each of again? No? Small dust? There we go. Rare earth, that's right. Rare earth is gotten from centrifuging monzonites. So yttrium... Should I just do... I should probably do one to get that a centrifuge. Do I even have a centrifuge? Yeah. So that one's full of glue. So that, yeah. So one of these gets one of those. Let's see if that works. Two. Okay, perfect. And then four of those get a yttrium. And then I'll have to set up What's the other one. Barium. Barium. 
Barites. Do I even have Barites? I do. So six Barite gets Barium Dust. And then, okay, then we'll check out to see what happens with multiple recipes going at the same time to the assembly machine. And no, that needs to go in this one. Some of these don't. Did I just put a pattern in? No, that was weird. Some of these actually don't need to go in this one. They can go in the other electrolyzer. But this one, it creates oxygen, so it needs to be here. Anyway, so let's go ahead and that should be everything for this conveyor. Right. So let's go downstairs and see what happens. I say yes, make it. All right, there's a couple things that need to be crafted. First, it looks like, because it's not, <laughs> it's not the easiest. All right, so once this uh, gets all cooked up, this stuff takes quite a while. Uh, I'll be right back. And we're almost done here. We got one more. There it goes. So let's get down there and see what happens. I'm hoping that it gets sent to that first. See, there it goes. Crafting everything. Looks like it took it. Yep. Crafting that. Did I put the... Yep, I put the import bus there. I can't remember how long it takes, though. So this should do this. And then send it to this. I'm hoping, in theory. There it goes. And there, it just sent... Did it just send everything? I think it did. Yeah, it's working. Okay, that's awesome. So yeah, it did it one at a time. It appears. Um, it worked with that recipe. I don't know if, what the other ones are going to be like. If, say, like the conveyor... Conveyor module needs one motor, but say we want a piston. Or what was it like the robot arm? So what happens if you need two of these? Well, it's gonna now it it'll make the motors. It probably make the three motors first, then make the piston. I'm assuming. I don't know, but we will get to that eventually. I'm assuming, and hopefully. I should have another conveyor in here. And there we go. So that worked out actually perfectly. That's awesome. So I'll just throw those in there. And then the next part of this is the emitter, which I can make all this stuff relatively, I say relatively easy, but it's quite a lot of materials. Um, but I'm probably just going to set this up in between episodes and get all the materials ready. And then we'll check out this recipe when it requires two ingredients that use the assembly line. We'll check that out next episode. And then also the... Let's see the precision precision I will say that 
Run the precision laser engraver. I'm gonna need this one too. So I'll probably get it all these materials um, so we don't have to watch me putting recipes in the uh, creating the recipes. Um, but I do want to get these next for sure. I want to get these built ASAP so I can start doing the crystal line uh, circuits. These are much easier. These are IV level and they only require a few. And then the other one is if I need to make EV level, then I will be able to. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not there yet. So, yeah. So I just want to get into the next tier, which is the crystal line. So I can use these to build the fusion reactor. Yeah, so when I build the fusion, fusion reactor, I want to be able to use the crystal, these, as opposed to this. Just requires less, less materials. But that will be for next episode. And I also want to get up silicon rubber. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a very difficult process. I'll probably do that in between episodes and then just show it off. All right, but that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.